Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We've got a brief lull in the buyer's guides. A couple more days before we fire back up. Today, we're going fishing. We're up here on Watts Bar. It's a post frontal windy day out on the main river, but I came to Watts because we can get in these calm backwaters and I think we'll get a really good reaction bite going. Let's go fishing. So it's a balmy 45 degrees out here this morning, but it's supposed to warm up pretty quick despite the north wind. So I'm hoping that's true because I'm out here in flip flops and a hoodie, but we'll find out. So the bait fish are still up shallow. The bass should still be ambushing them back in the pockets. That's the goal. So I'm starting out with an A-rig. We've got swim baits, lipless, jerk baits, flukes, you name it, tied on. We are reaction fishing today. We'll be back into the buyer's guides again soon, so I just wanted to come out here and have a good time. We'll start slinging. Hopefully we can get some nice fish today. Uh, there are some really nice fish in this lake. Hopefully they're still up shallow on these bait fish. Let's get them. Not a small fish. He's just taking line. This is that little Z crank rod that we talked about. It's such a little noodle. I'm throwing 10 pound fluoro. What do I have? I've got a drum and he's hooked in the tail. Brutal. I thought we had a striper for sure. Oh, it's not even a drum. It's a big old carp. Come here, you ugly thing. Bend that hook out any time. See ya. Great big buffalo carp. <laughs> the hook held up to lifting him. I think it was probably seven or eight pounds. So midday update. I've got almost nothing to report. A couple short strikes. Snagged a carp. That was a pretty cool highlight. But just pulled into this cove. See these birds working behind me? This time of year, when you find them, you really find them. Fish bunch up this time of year, which we talk about as a positive a lot. But if you never run into the bunch, everything else is empty. So we're continuing to just move and move and move and move today, searching for something like this, a place where the fish are congregated and we can catch them in a hurry. That was fun. We'll take it. We're out here chasing smallmouth and largemouth, but I will always take a nice striper. Too fun. <laughs> wow. 
Well, a little different size than the last one. <laughs> little white bass. Wow, that fish can pull. So guys, this fish, this fish is what I call a gimme. I was about to skip over this cove, but I looked up here, you can see these pilings. See the pilings behind me? All those pilings are dry, except for one. One had water spray up on it. Oh, it's a drum. I'll take him anyway. Now I can focus. Doesn't matter if he comes off about a five pound drum. <laughs> Maybe bigger than five pounds. Of 2.8 cool baits. <laughs> We're catching everything but a bass today. Anyway. You look up here all these different pilings they're all dry and one had splash marks on it water had been kicked up on it i threw right to that post and that's right where that fish was sitting so that fish came up to eat something in the last 10 minutes probably and sprayed water up on that post you really want to pay attention to your surroundings this time of year you know, you get out in the spring, you get so many bites. It doesn't really matter if you miss one here or there. This time of year, you are working so hard for your fish because you just don't get bit as often that you really need to be focused, paying attention, capitalizing on every bite, and also paying attention to your surroundings. Birds can clue you in. Water splashed up on the bank, splashed up on a wall, splashed up on a piling can clue you in. And then you really just want to focus in on key baits. This isn't the time of year to expand into a completely different style. Fish your confidence. So tail spinner, a rig, crankbait. That's what I'm focusing my time on today. Now I see a big striper come up. I'm throwing all sorts of things at it, but in general, Sticking to those basics, trying to get those key bites. <laughs> what do we have? I'm fishing a 610 medium light. Makes it downright fun. But I don't know what this is. <laughs> Another big old drum. On that tiny, tiny little cool baits, thunderspin. We're gonna run into a bass eventually. Would you look at that? starting to wonder if he still lived in this lake. <laughs> Little largey.
post frontal like this, freezing cold, to let my flip flops fool you, it's cold. We'll take any bass we can get on a day like this. It's just fun to get out here. Just get out. Oh, they're busting. It's fun to just get out here, drive around, enjoy the peace. I'd say peace and quiet, but everywhere I've been, somebody's been running a blower, a mower. I don't know that there's been much quiet. Oh, they're busting. But it's been an awesome day. Hopefully we can catch a couple more. Round it out. Oh, we came off. Ooh. Lost one, got the other. <laughs> I'm here. Big old fat white bass. Nice, he has been gorging. That guy is fat. <laughs> that fish is so tiny. Get over here. Oh, the smallest fish of the day are the largemouth. Go figure. Still fun. Not pulling hard enough. Probably a large one. Yep. Hey, buddy. Now we're talking. Don't pull near as hard as those whites. Nice fish. Is that a yellow bass? That is the biggest yellow I think I have ever seen. Good gracious. Hello, big small mouth. Oh my. Well, that'll make the day. Hey buddy, come here, come here. That is the difference maker right there. That makes the whole day. You ate that same tailspin. What a nice small mouth. This day has been awesome, guys. I mean, ooh, another big blow up. We came out here just hoping to catch fish, you know, nothing special. And we've been doing all those buyer's guides. I needed a little break. Our next video, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Our next video, the buyer's guide start back up. So I just wanted to get out, catch a few fish with you. 
before that fired up again. <laughs> it's a white. Come here, bud. And that is exactly what we've accomplished here today. We caught smallmouth, largemouth, striper, white bass, yellow bass, drum. What more could you ask for on a post frontal winter day? Awesome. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.